Hey everybody, Ann here, and today, well, it's rainy, so I am cooking a chicken. <laughs> this is my new three-quart crock pot that my neighbor Denise gave me, and I've got a big old chicken in it, and I've just seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic, and turmeric, and I'm just going to put the lid on, turn it on high, and let this baby cook. Oh my God, guys, it's going to be so good. And you know what? You can season this with whatever you want. I just use salt, pepper, and garlic and turmeric because it makes it tasty. It gives it a nice color, gives the stock a nice color. I didn't even have to add any fluid because this was a really, really juicy chicken. So I'm going to let this cook, I don't know, four, five, six hours, depending. While it was cooking, I decided to go out and take a stroll, and I found this beautiful lichen with the red flowers on it. Didn't know what it was, so I looked it up, and it looks like it is red hat lichen or British soldier lichen because it, the, the little red caps uh, look like you know, British invading British soldiers. Um, I don't know. It's weird. I found it in Tennessee. Or a devil's matchstick lichen and it's actually two organisms together one is the lichen and one is the algae that grows on top of it anyhow the little red flowers are the fruiting bodies of it and so I thought that was pretty cool thought I'd share it with you I found this cool little tree branch actually it's a dead tree on my neighbor's property and uh, I thought oh this would make a cool walking stick and I felt the wood and it's actually quite solid believe it or not so um, I've asked her if I can cut it so that I can make a walking stick with it so I hope she says yes and I know I said that my lot is just one big mud pit, but that is just the main area that I pull into. I've got 4.9 acres, and it just keeps going on and on. And there's an abundance of beauty out there. Moss-covered trees, beautiful mushrooms that sprout everywhere, all kinds of mushrooms. In fact, check this one out. This is one big mushroom. And I know it looks like it may be several all together, and it's actually pretty big. And it is, I don't know, a couple feet long, and it is a shelf-like mushroom. I looked it up. Well, actually, I took off uh, a very small piece of it, and it's actually a pretty big piece. But it's got, it, it, they call it a toothed um, polypore. And so the closest estimation I could get identifying this is a milk-white toothed polypore. I don't know much about the mushrooms, so I'm going to have to look into it more, but it was just very, very cool looking. And a day wouldn't be complete unless Rudy came to visit me. Ma Chicken was here earlier. I've already fed them twice today, but yeah, he's back for more. I guess he's hungry. He wants to have something to eat, but you know what? You've already ate. <laughs> You're going to get fat, Mr. Rooster. Rudy the Rooster. I still love you. I wish you'd do a cockle doodle doo for me. Come on. Come on. Do it. He's like, nah, I don't think so. All right, the chicken's been going for about four hours or so, and I'm not sure if it's done yet, but all I know is it smells absolutely wonderful. And see all those juices that just came naturally from it? I didn't have to add any water, so this was a very juicy chicken. So I cut into it a little bit, and I know you can't really see, but down in the bottom there, in the corner of the drumstick, it's still a little bit pink, so I'm going to let it go for a little bit longer just to make sure it's cooked well enough, and then give it a taste. All right, it's been going for about four and a half, five hours. It is done. Just take a look at this beautiful chicken. It's so juicy. This was a very juicy chicken. I didn't have to add any extra fluid to it at all. It's flaky. It is juicy. And oh my goodness, it just tastes so good. Both the white meat and the dark meat, just absolutely delicious. And I will pick the meat off the bone, put the bones back into the crock pot and add a little bit more water and boil them up and make chicken stock with it and then I can put that in all kinds of different things so yeah this was an awesome awesome day with my new crock pot thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one